today we will be creating these amazing text animations inside the free version of davinci resolve i will also be sharing project files in a community post which will be available for the channel members only so if you are interested you can get it for just 29 rupees all right let's jump in open the edit page of davinci resolve then simply go to the top left side and here you will see this effects icon click to open it then in this toolbox look for the title option select it and on the right side you will see this text plus option just click and drag it to the timeline then place it in the beginning of our composition okay now let's place the playback head on top of it and open it in the fusion page now the first animation we are going to create is called raining text first thing first let's change the text and do the necessary adjustments so simply go to the inspector then select this custom title and replace it with whatever you like now if you want you can also change the font as well i'm going to keep it same but i will just click here and change it to extra bold now i also want to change the size of our text so let me just go around here then scroll down and here you will see this size option click on this slider and drag it to the right side now i also want to hide this transparent area and to do this you just need to go around here then click on these three dots and here you will see this checker underlay click here to deselect it and now you see we have the black screen all right now let's do the animation move your cursor to the text box area then right click and from the menu look for the option called follower click to select it and once you do it, it will enable the modifiers tab. This is where we are going to create the animation. So let's click to open it. And from here, we are going to use the transform tab. So let's select it. Then simply go to frame 0. And at this point, just go to the inspector and add a keyframe for the XY offset. Now the moment you do it, it will enable this path tab. But don't worry about it. We just have to double click on this follower tab to reopen it. Then simply move to frame 20. And at this point, just go to the inspector. Then click on this Y offset box and drag it downwards keep dragging it until it gets out of the view let me just go around here and pull it upwards to see it properly okay so it's looking good so now we can adjust the curve so let's go around here and you will see the spline tab click to open it then let me just go around this section then click here and bring it somewhere around here let's keep it around here okay now select this template box then go to the right side and click on this zoom to fit icon now just select the keyframes then press s on your keyboard now let me just go around here and then click on the second box and drag it down like this then go to frame 0 double click here and play it you will see it's looking something like this and this is not what you want so what we're going to do is select this template node then just go to the inspector and switch to the modifiers tab and this time we're going to go to this timing tab so let's open it and here you will see this option called delay just double click on this box and change the value to something like 2 let's click here on step like the changes and now you see we have something like this so now if i go to frame 0 then double click here and play it you will see it's looking something like this and that's exactly what we needed now let's customize our text and make it even more better so i want to change this color and add a little bit of glow to it so let me just go to the inspector then go around here and scroll down and i'm going to switch to this shading tab and from here just go around this place scroll down and here you'll see this color option click here then choose any color you like i'm going to change it to red then simply press the enter button to save it now to make it even more better i'm going to add white lines in our text so to do this just go to the inspector once again and here you will see this option called select elements select to this number 2 option then tick this enable box now scroll down and click on this color then change the color to white press the enter button and you will have something like this now let's add the glow as well click on this template node press ctrl plus space and look for this soft glow press enter to add it and you will have something like this now we are going to adjust the glow little bit so let's go to the inspector and here you will see this glow size just click on the slider and drag it somewhere around here then click on this gain slider and drag it to the left side let's keep it somewhere around here okay now if i go to frame 0 then double click here and play it you will see it's looking something like this and it's actually looking pretty cool okay so now let's create our second text animation which is called random text okay so here i already did all the necessary adjustments as our previous node now make sure that you're at frame 0 and at this point simply go to the inspector then right click on this text box and this time we're going to choose this character level styling so select it then switch to the modifiers tab and you will have something like this now first thing first simply go to the bottom side and here you'll see a keyframe so click to enable it then make sure that template node is selected and simply go to the viewer now select your first letter then simply go to the inspector and switch to the transform tab 
okay so here we're going to animate the y offset so let me just click on this box and drag it to the right side let's keep it somewhere around 0 0.09 now what i'm going to do is double click on this box and copy this value by pressing ctrl plus c then i will select this third letter go to the inspector double click on this y offset box and paste the value by pressing ctrl plus v let's click here on stuff like the changes and we'll have something like this and now we're going to skip the d and select the o so let's double click on this y offset box and paste the value click here on stuff like the changes and we'll have something like this okay so now let's select this second letter then double click on this y offset box and paste the value as well now this time go to the beginning of this value and add a minus to it let's click here on step apply the changes and we'll have something like this so now let me double click on this y offset box and copy it then select this d letter double click on this y offset box and paste the value now let's select this m letter double click on this y offset box and paste the value as well let's click here on step apply the changes okay now go to frame 20 then simply select all of the letters double click on this y offset box and change the value to zero let's click here on stuff like the changes and we'll have something like this so now if i go to frame zero then click on the second box to set the preview area like this and double click here and play it you will see it's looking something like this okay now for this one we're going to add a scale animation as well so let's click on this template node and then go to frame zero now just go to the inspector and right click on this text box then go to this insert option and from here choose the follower so select it and then go to the modifiers tab and in the followers switch to the transform tab then scroll down and here you'll see the size option click on this mini arrow to expand it scroll down a little bit more then now let's go to frame 20 and at this point just add a keyframe for the x and y then go to frame 0 simply go to the inspector click on this x slider and drag it down to 0 click on this y slider and drag it down to 0 all right now let's adjust the curve so click on this zoom to fit icon simply select the keyframes then right click here go to the edge section and this time choose the out cubic all right so now scroll up then go to the timing tab then double click on this delay box and change the value to 2 let's click here on stuff that it changes and now if i play it you will see it's looking something like this all right so now let's get our third animation which is called explosion text okay so here i have already added the text like before now this time make sure that you're at frame 20 and at this point simply go to the inspector then right click on this text box and choose the character level styling let's open the modifiers tab and add a keyframe here then switch to the transform tab and now let's select our first letter now this time we need to place each of our characters in different locations so let's go to the inspector then click on this x offset box and drag it to the left side like this then click on this y offset box and move it upwards like this now let me select this second letter then click on this y offset box and drag it downwards like this then click on this x offset box and drag it somewhere around here now select this p let's click on this x offset box drag it like this click on this y offset box move it upwards like this let's keep it around here and just like that place each of your characters in different positions and once you're done you'll have something like this now simply go to frame zero and at this point simply select all of the characters then switch to the modifiers tab now double click on this x offset box and change the value to zero then double click on this y offset box and change the value to zero let's click here on stuff like the changes now let's also adjust the curve so let me click on the zoom to fit icon select the keyframes right click here go to the is section and choose the out cubic option now let's double click here and play it you'll see it's looking something like this and it's actually looking pretty cool now for this one we need to animate the opacity as well so to do this first go to frame 10 and at this point select this template node then go to the inspector right click here go to the insert and choose the follower now let's switch to the modifiers tab and this time we're going to go to the settings tab and here you'll see the opacity add a keyframe to it now let's move 20 frames forward which will be frame 30 click on this opacity slider and drag it down to zero now if you notice we still have our outlines so to remove them switch to this element 2 option then add a keyframe for the opacity now let's go to frame 10 and add another keyframe let's click here to go to the last keyframe and bring down the opacity to zero now let's click on this zoom to fit icon then go around here and press ctrl plus a to select all of the keyframes now just right click here go to the is section and choose the out cubic now if i go to frame zero then double click here and play it you will see it's looking something like this okay now if you want you can also add delay as well and for that just click on this template node go to the modifiers switch to the timing tab then double click on this delay box and this time let's change the delay to one let's click here on step like the changes and now you see some of the letters are glowing and some of them are not 
Okay, so now let's open the edit page and preview all of our text animations. So let me press the space button and you will see it's looking something like this. And that's how you create these amazing text animations inside the free version of DaVinci Resolve. If this tutorial was helpful, then give this video a like, subscribe to the channel and make sure to watch my other videos. I will see you in the next one. Till then, see ya.